Well, hello, and welcome back to Idol Kingdom Defense. So today's 17275, and of course, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to subscribe, and what are you going to do? You're going to ring that bell, that's right. And of course, here's B-Team, and we are working on Marion, well, we're kind of B-Team, but really, Marion. It's the Marion show, we all know that, um... Obviously, we are stacked for Hero Seal Day tomorrow. This is the wolf. We have swept the wolf ten times. We have done portal ten times. And we have ten tickets to roll over. I can show you that down here. And Total War has been swept. Ooh. And, of course, the Archer Shop has been purchased. Which leaves us only with Astrology. I did get a question about this. Yeah, these are the Ancient Coins. I do this because the ancient coins are the only thing I feel like I have uh, unlimited resources of compared to, like, I'd run out of scrolls, uh, you know, the weapon and armor scrolls, and, I've, and I was running out of portal cash and expedition cash, but, you know, I don't feel like, th this one isn't good. I did this one originally for this, and the skips. This one, eh, I don't need those ultra gear tokens, they're not that great. And this one, I mean, I could maybe do this one, but Portal Cash was the iffiest one, which is why it's so low now. But, eh. I also don't feel like we need to spend more gems here. Honestly, like, if I was going to be Portal Cash, but like I said, I'm, I'd be afraid I would run out. I actually used to, like, spe you know, buy all the good stuff out of the store with the Portal Cash. And I had to curtail, and the same thing with the, uh, the uh, Expedition Shop, and I had to really curtail that. Because I used to come in here and buy these, you know, every day because it was a free set of gear. And same thing with the portal shop. I would just buy everything in here. And I don't even buy these anymore. Uh, just because of how expensive everything is. Um, I always consider Hero Seals useful. Even though I'm maxed out. Because you never know, you know, when the update happens and we have to get to Mythic Plus. I mean, you know, you're going to want those. But those, eh, not so much. So, outside of that, we're going to the fountain, we're going to purchase some heroes, and how are you doing today? I hope everything's going well for you. Um, one of the more interesting things I encountered was about um, a review about Diablo 4 about why the game is so bad. And it was... I found it interesting because it was so, like, so many of the points were just so wrong. That's what I had a problem with. So many of the points were so wrong, and I found that really weird. Um, just some very strange, like, do I think Diablo 4 is, like, game of the year? Eh... I think it's a mid game, a mid like a, a seven, a high seven, maybe a low eight out of ten. Uh, I think it's a mid game. Um, I think its weaknesses are that it's too grindy, it's too its stuff is too rare. The complexity of the items is too much. I know weird. A lot of people complain about the itemization, um, but I complain. I, I I specifically talk about the the complexity. Like, compared to, and I'm comparing it directly to Diablo 3, which is pretty, they're pretty close. And yeah, we already got 120 points, 150 to close out the week. Um, and, w and when I say that, I say that with heart, because um, I feel like Diablo 3 stats are a lot more straightforward. Even if, uh, I'll be honest, I don't know exactly how all the stats interact with each other. So... For example, in Diablo 4, um, you get you have more basic uh, stats: attack speed, crit, crit damage, like pretty much bog standard ones. So there's no mystery to me of how does crit damage work. You know, it just makes your crits harder. Imagine that. Imagine such a simple concept. So it's little things like that that just make it, to me, so much easier. Now we do have 12 rings still, and, uh-oh, ignore defense penetration. And here, 
Are we not? Oh, I guess... Alright, I guess I didn't uh, finish this one. That's fine. And in Diablo 4, like, there's so many weird damage pools and things you want. It's just... To me, it's... I can't look at an item and say that, oh, it increases my overpower. What the hell is overpower damage? How is that? Why would I want overpower damage? Without looking at a guy, you know? Diablo 4's items are sort of like a religion, right? You just got to take them on faith that uh, basically that somebody else says, oh, you want this, this, and this for your character, and you just take it all on faith. Now, if you're wondering, we did, we did run into an artifact drive a little bit today. Which I don't particularly like, like, you know, Diablo 2's items to me were mostly more straightforward. Diablo 3's items are like a, I don't even, I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. It's kind of just, I, I mean, it does it bother me? No, I'm not losing any sleep over it. Really not, promise you that 100%, not losing any sleep over it. To me, it doesn't matter at all. Um, at the end of the day, I, and I feel like a lot of this is I'm very conditioned by the internet. I know that the proper way, ooh, crit damage, very nice. The proper way to play a modern game is what do you do? You look up a guide. Because, you know, this is not, uh, I, you know, I don't have any direct experience with this because I basically grew up on the internet, but from what I, from what I, I've seen other YouTubers, it's not like it's the 1990s, where somebody is, is like, the, you, you know, your best source of information was maybe somebody you worked with, or the kid at school, or something like that. No, 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 no. You can just go on the internet, find a bill, and, and this is, this is part of why I think games are so complex now. The complexity is not designed for the casual player. The complexity is 100% designed so that Somebody can make a YouTube video, and I know this sounds ridiculous. <laughs> look at me. Look at me saying it's ridiculous when that's what I do with Idle Kingdom Defense. But I still, th I feel like Idle Kingdom Defense's stats are more straightforward than Diablo 4. Um, I can see them being confusing to somebody who has never played a game like this. Um, but for somebody who played, like, Diablo 3, like, the stats are, for the most part, pretty basic we have crit chance crit dam like the big thing that's sort of weird here is crit resist crit damage reduction uh ignore defense penetration defense pen defense penetration does act a little strange in this game just but that's only because they don't explain that this is a percentage so you know that kind of makes sense wait a second i have Eight, almost 2,000 ignore defense penetration, and it is not showing up on my stat stick. I mean, it's meaningless, but it's weird that she's not getting the ignore defense penetration. But, uh, but so, like, these stats to me are very straightforward in what they do. Crit makes you crit more. Crit damage makes your crits harder. Um, dodge makes it harder to hit. Hit. Um, accuracy means you hit somebody, you know, accuracy, it's accuracy versus dodge, right? If your accuracy is greater than their dodge, you hit. If your dodge is greater than their accuracy, you dodge. Um, defense penetration, this is where it gets a little weird because you got to get into the formula, but basically if you have, uh, over 1,000 defense penetration minus their ignore defense penetration, you, you just throw their defense out the window. If you end up with like... Um, under a thousand, you just divide by a thousand, and you throw that much of the defense out the window. So, and you can't do attack speed and movement speeds only on boots. But I mean, like pretty straightforward stats. Nothing really to me out of the out of the ether. Um, compared to like Diablo 4's like extra damage when they're vulnerable, extra damage to close enemies, extra damage to far away. It's like a weird way of making stats that are super unintuitive, you know? Like, there, there's way better things that they could have done. Like, imagine... Like, all they would have had to do is look at Vampire Survivors. Take Look at World of Warcraft plus Final Fantasy plus Vampire Survivors, and you would have, in my opinion, a pretty good set of stats 
that are easy to understand and also good. But they didn't do that. Actually, Vampire Survivor has a lot of interesting stat levers that uh, make it real interesting of how the you can grow the weapons in different directions. Um, but anyways, let's go level up Marion. That's just my that's just my thing. I was it was actually watching Mr. Lama SC. I'll probably make an actual you know I've been kind of meaning to do that to make an actual like review video of like the f the five Final Fantasy Pixel remasters I played with Maria. Like, what did I think were the pros, the cons of the game, and stuff like that. Then, you know, going further, it would be um, Diablo 4 would be the next probably one I would do. I'd probably do Diablo 4 too. Um, but again, instead of saying, like, oh, this is why the game's so bad, I can't really say that Diablo 4 is a bad game. To me, Diablo 4 is a mid uh, it, I, I don't think it's game of the year material, and I, I, like I said, it's a solid seven, like a low eight, depending on if you're into that genre, you know? I know, I know, it's idle game defense, but you know what, you get to hear me rant sometimes about other things that are on my mind. It's, you know, it, it's just the way this works. This is the way our relationship works. That said, we're gonna level Mary. And finally, 1,206. 1,206, she did it. Oh my goodness. 34 million attack. Alright. Now I think I forgot to level the castle yesterday. So the castle is going to get a double dose of levels today. And survey says. Will we break 100k today? Oh. So close. 14.99 so close to 15 million that said once again as always thank you for watching please like and subscribe to support the channel if you have any questions feel free to say something in my in the comments i do always look forward to your questions and as always thank you again and i hope you have a great day